A successful project is based on a productive networking, which is formed by a set of people or group of people with different backgrounds, but all directed to a, a unique objective. Strong integration around the various actors within a project is essential to reach the expected results. Although not always is possible, previous knowledge among the key partners and the option of previous work is also a plus. Furthermore, whatever the main objectives or hypotheses of the project should be, it must be clear that the final recipients of the results are the uh, people, also known as stakeholders. Therefore, it is best practice to contact and involve them right away at the beginning of the project, making them part of writing the proposal. If the stakeholders do not feel that the project belongs to them, it is extremely difficult that any potential solution of the problem will be adopted by them. Another important point is to actively include the students at all stages of the project. In our words, the students participate actively at the project decisions and furthermore, we let them to develop their own mini projects within the project in such a way that they even do students-only papers. On the administrative side, the project leader is not a boss, but the person that is able to coordinate adequately the various members of the team to always reach consensus for all the decisions along the pathway of the project. He or she is also responsible for the general administration of the project, which, based on my experience of leading many national and international projects, is likely the most difficult and boring part of the project. Be sure that all the partners understand that your task is no one that this is your alone, but that is the also responsibility of all of them particularly in defining the goals and chronogram for the financial and academic reports, but also to be sure that all partners will, res will respect the time schedule agreed. Finally, be sure that it's impossible that a project will run smoothly for all the time. Always there will be problems with the, with the project itself, but also among the partners. That is when the project leader must be strong in maintaining the calm and the goodwill of all the partners, trying to reduce conflicts and move everything to solutions that everybody agrees.